All right, hello everybody and welcome into the SFA Season 13 Week 3 SFA Game Day. And we've got the new Heights Classic, the neutral site game of the year on deck between Oklahoma, number 4, 2-0. Taking on Nebraska Cornhuskers, number 16. They lost to Minnesota last week. This is going to be a fantastic game. Um, but yeah, if you don't know what the SFA is, it's an online dynasty ran entirely through Discord. You can take over a team. You can coach. You can recruit. You can set depth charts, set schemes. And uh, we have a full-fledged transfer portal. We also have plenty of server games to have fun uh, week to week. We have a f uh, fantasy football. We have... Uh, a fully functional sports book. Uh, if any of that interests you, um, feel free to check out any of the links in our descriptions. As well as you do watch live, we are affiliated, so um, there might be ads. So feel free to use a Twitch Prime sub. Any and all revenue made through this channel does go back to you guys in the form of national championship trophies. But yeah, we are here. It's Oklahoma versus Nebraska. Let me know if you can hear me, and then we can go ahead and get started. This is going to be a fun one. Oklahoma, Nebraska. Just need somebody to tell me that they can hear me, and we are good to go. You should be able to hear me, but never know for sure. It's a great day. East Carolina beats Buffalo. You'll love to see it. Boom. Boom. Dogwater gifts a sub. Thank you, buddy. You know what? Just for that, I'll say go Bills. All right. Let me know if you can hear me, though. Still waiting. Not starting the New Heights Classic till you can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we're here. We're going to go through the rosters, as always, first, and then we'll kick it off. But Oklahoma, one of the most talented teams in the country, led by junior quarterback Terrell Remmers, the SFA player. Speedy, very, very good pass attack, and this offense is incredible. They also have Gus McFeeders, the redshirt freshman. This will be the first time we've ever seen him play. At fullback, they got Chetta Biscuits, the SFA player. At wide receiver, they have Blake Stratton, Lawrence Harris, Troy Smith, and Jamal Bailey. But starting in the slot, we'll talk about a little bit later their uh, receiver who's starting in the slot. But uh, uh, the SFA uh, Bear Cave reward player, Todd Honey, making his debut at tight end as well. And then here's the offensive line. You got Dan Bracken, Bryson Reed, John Whitaker, Madden Proctor, the SFA player, and Terry Murphy. If they have a weakness, it's going to be the offensive line. But on defense, Charles Hill, Jason Brown, Charlie Harvey in the middle and Ross Smith. And then at linebacker, you got Matt Lewis and Lorraine Strievler, the transfer over from Florida, the SFA player. And JoJo Gates back from injury. He transferred from LSU and he got injured last year, so he is back. And then at cornerback, here we go. Jamal McKinney, Steve Hines, Shaquille Wild Goose, the most versatile player we've ever seen in the SFA. He will play in the slot as a cornerback, and he will play in the slot as a wide receiver. And then you got Jay Phoenix, the SFA player, out back, and Andrew Sandejo, the transfer from Miami a few years ago as well. And Sam Marshall is their kicker. Let's take a look at his statistics. Boom, he has a nice power and nice accuracy. And now we're going to go take a look at Nebraska, a team that made the national championship last year, but then they lost their quarterback, and now they're 0-1 after losing to Minnesota. So how good is this team? We will find out today, but they're led by freshman quarterback Julius Swain. He is a redshirt freshman, though. Uh, we really want to see what he can do. Um, at running back, Joel McKinley is back. He is healthy. Remember, he transferred from Alabama in Season 11. And at wide receiver, another top recruit. I'm so excited to see Arian Green Davis, the deep threat. You got Dallas Johnson returning. He made all of those crazy plays. And then in the slot, he has Washiko Johnson, the SFA player as well, um, starting. 
Matt Moore coming back. He had a great playoff run there. And Jeremy Scott, Nick Gallagher, Courtney Bradford, Bill Cantrell, and Justin Martin. And on defense, we got Mark Jones, Nicholas Morris, and then in the middle, Dick Tater and Brent Fox are back. Hoping to have a great year. Everclear will be starting, and uh, tra um, this guy, wait, Ricardo Henderson, he's at right, but Chris Morgan will start in the middle, um, and then obviously Ricardo Henderson, and then Quentin Appleby, the transfer from Iowa State, is now his top corner. That was a huge get in the transfer portal. Stephen Moore, Jerry Holmes, um, yeah, they're looking good. And then in the back, Pat Harrell, 76 overall, and Blair Olson. So this Nebraska team definitely lost a lot of players, but they have some firepower. So we'll see how good they can be. Um, if you are here, uh, Coach Chewy, you get choice at, um, you get first choice at the jerseys. Um, Jay Jettas, if you're here, let me know. But get that prediction going. Who wins? It's always just straight up. I'm not doing a spread or anything for this. For Bob and us. It's just uh, straight up. Who wins Oklahoma or Nebraska? All right, that prediction is out. I'm going to get my thumbnail. And if you did not... It, I encourage everybody to at least watch the end of the watch party when it's posted. That game was insane. Even though the box score didn't really show how insane it actually was. Oh boy, here we go. Oklahoma and Nebraska. I don't see either of them here in chat, so we're just going to go with the basic ones. That way my Instagram post a little later on will be a lot easier. All right, number four, Oklahoma, and number 16, Nebraska. It is a neutral site at NRG Stadium, the New Heights Classic. And I'm actually going to put the New Heights Classic graphic back up. I like having that on there. Remember the top, or what I believe to be one of the most intriguing or top um, out-of-conference user versus user game will get New Heights Classic every year. Man, is anyone going to put money on Nebraska? Come on. Put some scratch on there. Even if it's 10 coins. It's worth it. There we go. Oh, somebody big dick to Nebraska now. <laughs> And remember, guys, that um, normally recruits and stuff come right after game day, but those will be later on tonight as right after this stream, I will be leaving um, to do my regular Sunday activities. So we always want to get game days in before the NFL games, but the recruits and stuff will come out later tonight. All right, here we go. New Heights Classic on its way. Oklahoma versus Nebraska. I've been having this game circled for a long time since I saw the schedule. This is going to be a fun one. I really like Oklahoma. I actually picked them, if you've been listening um, to my little Patreon podcast thing, I picked them to be in the national championship against East Carolina. So let's see if they're for real. Can And the real question is is on Coach Chewy and how this – I mean, they, they don't have Paul Sanford anymore. So – how is this offense going to play? I know they played a tough team in Minnesota who um, who really showed they were for real today against Ohio State, so we'll, we will have to see. And remember, if you have not yet voted for the Hall of Fame ballot, it's up in announcements. I will send out reminders, but make sure you vote for the Hall of Fame. Paul Sanford is on there. Last time I looked at it, right now it has five people getting in right now. Here we are. We're in Houston at NRG Stadium. And it's time. Oh. 
OU versus Nebraska. All right, we're going to see the new look Nebraska first here today. Here we go. Nine minutes on the clock. Boom! We are off here in the New Heights Classic. Last year in this game, Arizona dominated Tennessee. What will happen here today in the second annual New Heights Classic? Julius Swain, the freshman. Arian Green Davis is at the top of your screen. And Shaquille Wild Goose not on the field right now, but he's number one on defense. And they hand that off to Joel McKinley to start the game. He goes for no yards. McKinley was a critical piece in their run to the national championship last week. All right, and another handoff here to Joel McKinley. He has some room on the right side. He stiffies a man, and he goes down. There's JoJo Gates on the tackle. The SFA player, tons of SFA players on both sides. As Arian Green Davis at the top of your screen, still no Shaquille Wild Goose as they are sitting in their base package on this first drive. As we get a counter now, and Joel McKinley gets about seven. First down and... Dumps that off. Jamom, Joel McKinley now gets four touches at this point. And now they're crowding the line here. Second and one. Swain. And off. Can they get him in the backfield? They do. JoJo Gates again. So that's five plays in five straight touches here for McKinley. Can they get another first down? He dumps that off, and it's incomplete. Off the hands of the receiver. And that's going to be a fourth down. So a tough start here for Nebraska as the drive stalls after the drop over the middle. I'm not sure who that was. It was not Arian Green Davis. And here he is, Shaquille Wild Goose on the return. That was his debut. He's the return man. He's the play slot on both sides of the ball. And there he is, number one. You got Gus McFeeders in the backfield. You got Todd Honey there as well. This offense is going to be fun as we get a handoff. No, Terrell Remmers keeps it. And remember, you got that first touchdown that we're looking for as well. We don't know who's going to get it. I did not bet on it this week. Second and nine now. Hand off to Gus McHears. No, Remmers keeps it again. He finds some room on the outside. He breaks clear, and Jerome Everclear has to bring him down. The former top linebacker recruit, the five-star. Last time we saw Oklahoma was against Arizona in the game day game where Remmers went out with an injury. And they scored 69. And first touch here for Gus McFeeders. He gets the catch. He runs down the sideline. The five-star who was redshirted last season. Second and four now. Remmers floats that, and it's caught. Lawrence Harris. He caught that tip drill pass you saw in the game preview made by Flame against Arizona last year. As now Oklahoma's on the move. They're inside the 40 here. And a handoff now to Gus McFeeders, and he goes down after about three. Gus McFeeders, originally the recruit from North Carolina, decided to go to Oklahoma. Cheddar Biscuits checks in. We still yet to see Shaquille Wild Goose targeted as they give it to Gus McFeeders. He finds some room, and he gets caught. Roger, 
Inside the 25 now for Oklahoma. Can they break ground first here? Remmers, it's going to be a handoff now, and he's stuffed in the backfield. Minus four yards, brought down by Mark Jones, the new edge rusher taking over for Will McMahon. Second and 14 now. They come out, and Cheddar Biscuits is lining up at receiver. And now they're empty. All right. Remmers dumps that off, and that's the first career catch for Todd Honey. The number one Bear Cave reward player. He had the chance of getting an O-lineman or a tight end. He decided to get a tight end. Shaquille Wild Goose there in the slot. Third and 12. And they dump it off. There's Shaquille. He makes a move, and he can't get the first down. Nebraska's going to get off the field here early. So they bring out the field goal unit. Right hash could be about a 34-yarder to take the lead. And that kick is up, and it is good. Oklahoma takes the lead here first in the New Heights Classic 3-0. As we have about four minutes left here in the first quarter. Nebraska, they take it out of the end zone. And there's Arian Green Davis, the five-star receiver, returning it. Gets Doesn't get to the 20. All right, here comes Nebraska. They come out empty now. No Joel McKinley on the field. They audible now. A handoff here, and interesting technique, audibling to handoff to the tight end. Matt Moore gets a carry for one. The only team that can pull that off is Tennessee. Second and nine now, Nebraska. Nice pocket. Swain takes off. He can run, and there he goes. He splits the defenders and gets about 15. Nice play there for Julius Swain. Wayne Strievler gave chase. Again, they're loving this dollar defense. As quick option time, and Swain has some room. Oh, he almost broke it. JoJo Gates on the tackle. So Julius Swain, if he decides to take it, he can be dangerous. Second and one now. Hand off. No, Swain keeps it again, and he goes down. Jason Russell. All right, third and four. And they're just going to hand it off here. Third and four. Broken tackle for Joel McKinley. He's going to get more. He breaks another tackle. Joel McKinley for 12. Keeping this drive alive despite the poor play call. And quick option this time. It goes nowhere. Swain goes down for four. Charles Hill on the tackle. And off now to the backup running back. That's Montoya, and he gets hit hard. I believe that was Sendejo on the tackle. Wild Goose making his first appearance on the defensive side. Finally, they're not in that nickel package, or in that dollar package. As he floats it out wide, and that's Wild Goose. Oh, my God. Oh, the over-under was 46, so Wooly's 80K bet lost. Wild Goose in his first offensive snap almost gets a pick. 
And here comes Wild Goose now on the return. He runs over a man. He gets about 26. Shaquille Wild Goose, one of the most exciting players in the country. Wild Goose in the slot. Looks like he's on a linebacker. They just hand this one off. Remmers again. Keeps it. Oh, my God. Remmers got absolutely smoked. There's Ricardo Henderson. A full front flip here. Remember, this is a this is a big time rivalry renewed. These teams do not like uh, like each other. Big time hit. As he hands it off now to McFeeders, tries to find some room. He does. It's about seven. No titty twisters though from the Nebraska D. So Remmer stays on the field. Third and six. Wild Goose, he hits him, and he can't get the first. So Oklahoma now goes three and out. Nebraska's defense looking good. Remmers is five to five, but they are limiting the explosive plays. This will be the last play of the first quarter. And he goes down, Cheddar Biscuits on the tackle. But that will be the end of the first quarter. Yeah, Woolley's bet did not hit. So end of the first quarter, 3-0 for Oklahoma. And for those who were betting on this game, it's a six-point spread for Oklahoma. And over-under was 54.5, so... Over under a crowd, if you bet the over, you're kind of in shambles right now. But plenty can change as Nebraska comes out here. He's floating it deep in a wide open man. Arian Green Davis, welcome to the SFA. His first career catch on stream. And it's a beauty. He drags the toes. Plenty of separation. Out under center. Yamming it deep here, and there's his man. That's the other SFA player, Washiko Johnston. Getting plenty of separation himself. He just yams it to him, and uh, Nebraska's in business. Coach Chewy did the crazy thing, and he recruited two receivers from Arizona and got the – and he got the – um. The battleground with two receivers. Just a wild recruiting strategy from Coach Chewy, but you're seeing it pay off as his, two of his top three receivers. Second and 11. This is a very good Oklahoma defense. Second and 11, Johnston in the slot. Hand off here to McKinley. He has some room on the outside. Can he break it? No, he goes out of bounds. Third and four, Nebraska. Can they come up clutch and take the lead? They come in tight. They are going to throw it. He floats that out, and Washiko, they give him the first down. John Sting, his second catch of the drive. First down, Nebraska. First and goal from the five. Trips left, Arian Green Davis by himself on the bottom of your screen. McKinley up the gut, touchdown Nebraska! Joel McKinley gets the first TD of the game, coming here in the second quarter. And the New Heights Classic is looking good here early, not a blowout like last year, hopefully. And, ooh, that was almost blocked. All right, how will Oklahoma respond? They're one of the most talented offenses in the country, but they really haven't done much here today. Coming out now. Remmers and shotgun. Shotgun. 
And that was risky, but he hits Todd Honey, who was matched up on a corner. Second and six. You like Remmer starting out six for six, getting everyone involved, but not a lot of big time throws, a lot of check downs. Second and six, though. Hands it off to Gus McFeeders, who finds a hole. Gus McFeeders is still rolling. 16 yards for the freshman. Look at the massive hole. You could have drove, driven Dogwater's mother through that hole. <laughs> First and 10. Here comes OU. And McFeeters does nothing. Damn, no reaction from Dogwater? Boo. <laughs> oh, and a bubble screen here to uh, Troy Smith. Dangerous throw, but it converts in a third and short up coming. Third and two. OU has yet to convert on a third down. They come out in this full house package. Oh, triple option. He gets it to Cheddar Biscuits. Cheddar Biscuits run down the sideline. Cheddar Biscuits touchdown. I never thought I'd see the day. Cheddar Biscuits takes the lead. Oh my, he just shrugged off the linebacker and he was in the clear. Cheddar Biscuits, baby. Might be one of my favorite touchdowns I've ever watched. I can't believe it. Nebraska in shambles as even the fullback is elite here at OU. This game's been quite even, honestly. It's it's kind of heated up here in the second quarter. Back to back touchdowns. He dumps that off. And he takes off here, and it's going to be a sack. All right, third and ten now. And they're just going to run the ball here, so not really trying to do much. Oklahoma now is going to get the ball back. They're going to punt it here, and Wild Goose will get a chance to return it. Runs over one, but that's about it. All right, Oklahoma coming back out after the big-time run from the fullback. Takes the hand off, and he's throwing that over the middle, and that is going to be a completion to Blake Stratton, the top receiver, his first touch on the day. Yeah, put put Biscuits at RB1. You got to give it to Biscuits again. As play action again, Wild Goose over the middle, and he hangs on as he's hit by the linebacker. His third catch already. Remmer's 9-for-9 nine nine start. Quick option, and oh my. Remmer's takes a big hit. Ricardo Henderson on the tackle. 
Transfer from Colorado State a few years ago. Third and five. Can Oklahoma keep the drive running? Now they might be in field goal range, but they're going to want to get a few more yards here. OU. And he connects. There's Wild Goose. Wild Goose gets wild in the secondary. 17 yards. Torches a corner. This kid is elite. And they're going to hurry it up here now. And Wild Goose is going to be in the backfield. Remember, this kid is really good at any position over the middle. Todd Honey! And he can't get in there. OU starting to heat up. This is when this team's at their most dangerous. Any of these skill position players can kill you. Yeah, me too. But he's killing it at D end. All right, back to this full house set. First and goal, Oklahoma. They hand it off to McFeeters, who gets smoked by Ricardo Henderson again. Ricardo Henderson has an agenda with the Sooners. He hates them. Every hit he's laid has been brutal. Second and goal now. Rummers under center. It's a toss out wide to McFeeters, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They extend the lead. Big time blocks from his men out front. Look at that. Boof. Talk about a pancake. And Oklahoma quickly puts 14 on the board after losing 7-3. Can Nebraska make a comeback here? You, they've got to get this offense rolling. They had it ro working for about a drive. You got to utilize Julius Slain, Swain in the run game. And off there he is. There's Julius. Julius finds some room. Swain all alone. Can he get caught? Yes, he does. Big time run for Julius Swain. Is it is it Swain or Swan? <laughs> it might be Swan. Julius Swan. I like Swain though. You guys decide. Should we stick with Swan Swain or do Swan? And over the guy, open man, touchdown, Nebraska, Washiko Johnston, a nuke over the middle. Holy smokes, Nebraska. It looks like Paul Sanford, did, it was uh, the system that was the, had those big plays, not necessarily just him. This Nebraska big play offense is back. So yeah, Swain sounds better. Yeah. Julius Swain, Julius Swan. Yeah, Swain. We'll go with Swain. All right, so all of a sudden, after only three points scored in the first quarter, we've now had 28 in the second quarter. And uh, there you go. McFeeders has the ball, and he gets about five. This has been a crazy game so far. New Heights Classic popping off. Can Nebraska respond, or can uh, Oklahoma respond now? Uh, no, he goes down. Big tackle in the backfield. Mark Jones, his second tackle for loss. Remmers not doing much in the run game today. And we got a timeout from Nebraska. They want a little bit more time. They think, and that's a little bit disrespectful to this offense, not going to lie. And Oklahoma now. And that's going to be a first down. Lawrence Harris. 
So Nebraska may be shooting themselves in their own feet. As Remmer still has yet to throw an incompletion. Here's Biscuits. Oh, and that was a... That entire play was awkward. It was a play action fake to the fullback to a screen to McFeeders, and it just didn't really work. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. <laughs> Shucking their own ears. Second and 11 now for Oklahoma. Trips left. Takes a handoff. Floats it deep. Oh, and a little bit of miscommunication there. Terrell Remmers just threw that away. It looked like he had his man. So the first incompletion now for Remmers. Third and 11. Minute 29 left here. Safety coming down. They bring a blitz. It's going to be a screen. He gets it off. Oh, my. Quentin Appleby with the deflection. First time we've called his name today, the corner, the transfer from Iowa State. And Nebraska's getting off the field. So they have Shaquille Wild Goose playing every single play of the game. He's literally on all the time. As Nebraska, though, two timeouts, minute 18 left. It's been a very even half for both teams. Remember, Nebraska has that field goal kicker we love, Brandon Alford. Oh, my. I thought that was going to be picked. Ooh, he gets it to Montoya. No gain, but that was very, very scary. Yes, Travis Hunter, absolutely. All right, they're empty now. Swain over the middle. He finds Johnston. Have yourself a day with Chico. Already four receptions, 80 yards. Outshining Arian Green Davis, that's for sure. They hurry it up now. Swain floats that out wide. He finds his man. There's Joel McKinley. He can't get out of bounds. So 40 seconds left. They're just going to keep hurrying it up. Keeping those timeouts in their back pocket. Nine for 11 start for Julius Swain. And dumps it off again, but not going to be a first down. Dallas Johnson getting involved. One of Paul Sanford's favorite targets. Third and one. 33 seconds left. Plenty of time. They're going to hand it off now up the gut and a big hole. And McKinley gets the first down. Clock stops while they reset. Great time management so far from Nebraska. They run another play. It's a blitz. He throws it deep. He has another open man. There's Wishiko again. Inside the 10, Johnston is cooking this defense. They hurry it up to the line, 19 seconds left. Free blitzer, he hit as he threw, and it's incomplete. Sendejo on the coverage. Thirteen seconds left. They still have a timeout in their back pocket. Over the middle. Joel McKinley! Touchdown, Nebraska! They score with ten seconds left. What a second quarter we have had here today. Thirty-five points here in the second quarter. These offenses have come to play today. Oklahoma yesterday beating Texas, right? Doing it kind of in the same way here, Nebraska. Nine seconds left. Is Oklahoma going to try something, or are they just going to fall on it and go to halftime down? The number four team in the country, one of the best teams in the country on the ropes. Remember, Nebraska didn't make the national championship for nothing. As Ricardo Henderson once again hits sticks his man, and that's going to do it for the half. So as we head to halftime, folks, Nebraska leads the Oklahoma Sooners 21-17. And, folks, it's halftime. Remember to go make your Hall of Fame votes. 
It's pinned in the announcements channel. Actually, I don't know if I pinned it yet, but scroll up. Um, I will remind you guys, but votes are due week six, but uh, we have about 20 votes already. Remember, you are qualified to vote if you've been here for over a full season. So, yeah, do have started at the beginning of season 12 to be eligible. So that way you could watch these guys for a full year, most of them. But what a way to start the game. I mean, I've been so impressed. The player of the game for me so far has been Washiko Johnston, the freshman slot receiver for Nebraska. He is popping off here today. Also, Cheddar Biscuits getting involved. You love to see uh, some of the young sung heroes making plays. You know, we talk about Shaquille Wild Goose. We talk about Arian Green Davis. We talk about Gus McFeeders. And, and they all play very well. But when these lower-tier SFA players get involved, it's always a sight to see. All right, here we go into the second half here today. 18 minutes left in the New Heights Classic. Oklahoma is going to get the ball first. They had a great second quarter, but their defense was kind of choking against Nebraska. The freshman Julius Swan is or Swain is playing with a lot of confidence. First and ten here. Remmers, he has a pocket. He dumps that off, and another big hit as Blake Stratton hangs on. I feel like Nebraska has been the much more physical team. This Nebraska defense has just been playing um, very physical, very good in the run game. Um, second and four now. They're going to throw it again. Floats it outside, and that's a nice catch. Todd Honey, his third catch of the day. Or his fourth reception, my bad. Remember, when you win Bear Cave, you get an elite talent. He's an 80 Seven overall as a freshman. First and ten here. They bring a blitz. It's picked up. We're yamming it deep. He's looking for Wild Goose, and he didn't put enough air on it. Samuel Randall makes the play. Second and ten now. Throwing it again. The blitz, he gets it off to Gus McFeeders. He's still going. McFeeders turns that into eight after it looked to be a sack. Ricardo Henderson was all over Remmers. Third and two. Can they get the first down and keep this drive alive? McFeeders out. Over the middle. That's a connection. Lawrence Harris on the catch. First and 10, Oklahoma. They're coming out with a great drive so far. They're loving this under center work. Biscuits in motion. Handed off, power running for McFeeders. He gets about four. McFeeders having a modest day, 46 yards and a touchdown. Got this full house set now and a handoff to the backup running back who has some room. He breaks that tackle. Another tackle. Can he get there? Touchdown, Oklahoma. Charlie Gillum. What a run. And don't forget about the CPU players. The backup running back comes in, breaks three tackles. Exactly right. It is a shootout here in the New Heights Classic. No defense being played today. So how is Nebraska going to respond? They just scored right at the end of the half. They go into... Um, halftime leading and now all of a sudden it looks like they're uh, they're losing again 
So now they got to respond. All right, second and three here. And, oh, another pass breakup. Yeah, no face mask. Uh, third and three now, Nebraska. You've got to get this first. They bring a corner blitz, and he gets there, but they call it incomplete. It doesn't matter, as they are going to punt it anyways. But Nebraska might have gotten away with a with a lucky call right there, that not being called a fumble. All right, Wild Goose going to get another return here. All right, Oklahoma now has a chance to re-extend this lead after Nebraska came back and took the lead. This game has been quite nutty. We've yet to see a turnover, though. Hand off McFeeders. He has some room up the gut. He gets about six. Love the ball carrier vision from McFeeders and Swain. Swain running the ball has been very nice to watch. Got second and four now. Well, Goose in the slot. They fake the handoff. Dump that off to Lawrence Harris. That's going to be a first down. I love the way both of these offenses have been playing today. First and 10 there across the 50 now. Remmer's going to keep it here. He has a little bit of room. He lowers the shoulder. He gets the first down. Looking like Shadour Sanders out here. Welcome in, Jay Jettas. You've missed quite a show. I encourage you to rewatch the uh, first half. There's been some nutty plays here today. As we float it here, open man, Shaquille Wild Goose. All alone, he was butt naked, wide open. No one can cover Shaquille. That was a three and out for Nebraska. As Oklahoma now threatening the red zone. McFeeders. He throws that to the end zone. 101 and it's almost intercepted. Stephen Moore with the deflection. Great defense in the back of the end zone. Remmers delivered a piss missile. They're at the 15 here, second and 10. A quick throw to Wild Goose, and it's tipped! Samuel Randall laying out to defend that play. The corners are playing electric here in the red zone. Third and 10 now. And a draw here to McFeeders, and he goes down in the backfield. Nebraska with a great stop and who else but dictator getting the penetration delivering an elbow and bringing down the running back and they come out for a field goal this one's going to be a 35 yarder from left hash this time to extend the lead to six and that kick is good but you got to think nebraska's happy with the way that that drive ended two deflections in a, a tfl Nebraska's going to get the ball back. Still down to score. Their offense has been electric when Julius Swain and uh, Washiko Johnston get involved. In Arian uh, Green Davis, top of your screen. We've yet to really see him get involved. He has one catch. He floats that out wide. Cross field, and it's intercepted, but he goes out of bounds. No pick. So second and 10 now. Fakes the handoff again. Off the back foot, cross body, and it's caught by Arian Green Davis. What a throw by Julius Swain. He got so much on that throw. Two 
two uh, weird passes in a row, but it, they worked out. First and 10, Nebraska. And he delivers a strike to Joel McKinley. Up to the 44 now. Two tight ends set. Second and six. They hand it off. It's a counter. McKinley, and he cannot. All right, third and two now. Can Oklahoma get off the field? Oh, and they get him to jump. But they call it a false start. So Nebraska going from third and two, going backwards. Still third down here for Nebraska. Clean pocket delivers over the middle, and Dallas Johnson's going to be short. So decision time here for Coach Chewy. Is he going to go for it here in the third quarter? No, he is not. So that... False start really making a difference here. As Wild Goose now gets a return opportunity yet again in Oklahoma once again. So Nebraska may be a little too confident in their defense. I feel like they probably should have gone for that. Nevertheless, Oklahoma back on the field here. Quick option and that goes nowhere. So Remmer's going backwards here again. Mark Jones, his third TFL. Not sure what they were trying to accomplish there. Second and 13. Pistol. And a little mid-screen broken tackle from Stratton, and that's going to get about five. Third and eight incoming. Nebraska will take that. Third and a medium. Can Nebraska get the ball back here as we're inching towards that end of quarter mark? 12 minutes left here in game day as that's intercepted! And he stayed in bounds! Turnover for Nebraska! Stephen Moore skies it and he stays in bounds. What a pick! All right, Nebraska, here they come. They start in this drive here on the opponent's 32. Swain, he's going to take off, and he's sacked. Killing the momentum. Charles Hill gets into the backfield, makes the play. Second and 14 now. Backing up just a little bit, but remember, they have Brandon Alford. He can kick it from a million yards away. And delivering a wide open man. Matt Moore, the tight end, gets 23. Broken coverage here for Oklahoma. All right, inside the 15 now. Going to heavy set. They're going to bring out the power. They toss it out wide. McKinley has some room, and he goes nowhere. All right, second and 11 now. Swain over the middle, and... Dallas Johnson once again, short yardage. He's really known for catching the deep ball last year, so a uh, different role from him, it seems, in this offense this year. But third and six, they come out empty. Four guys on the left side, and it's going to be a mid-screen, and Shaquille Wild Goose brings down Arian Green Davis. Fourth down. Freshman on freshman crime right there. And here comes Brandon Alford for a 30-yarder to pull back within three. And it's good. All right.
right? So they've kind of settled down here in the third quarter after 35 points scored in the second. Remember, folks, um, after this game, uh, will not be recruits like normal. That will be later on tonight as I will be leaving to do my regular Sunday NFL football watching activities. Uh, but I will post all the games. VODs will be available later tonight as well. As you get a flow wide open, man, he stayed. No, oh, Blake Stratton, he steps out. He got behind the defense all alone. But I will put live the watch party game. If you were not on Patreon, you should watch at least the last quarter. That entire second half was insane. But the last quarter was absolutely bonkers. Third. We're at the 50 now. Oklahoma moving the ball. He floats it out. There's Wild Goose. He breaks a tackle. That could have been risky. Floating it out to the corner like that never works. But Shaquille Wild Goose making a play here today. He's looking good. OU delivers a strike. There, Stratton again. He breaks a tackle. Still going. Inside the 30. 27-24 as we go to the fourth quarter. And the under could still hit here, boys. The over-under was 54.5. We're at 51 right now. Oh, you Remmers, and he goes down. Sacked by Blair Olsen. Except they're calling it a run, so they're not calling that a sack. Interesting. Second and 13, though, from the 30. Remmers. He has some room on the outside. And he goes down in the backfield. Third and 14 incoming. Can Nebraska get another stop? They've looked like Swiss cheese here in most of the field, but when you get down around their goal line, they've shut it down. Third and 14. Remmers and McFeeders can be a delayed handoff to McFeeders. He has a room, and he cannot get to the yard mark. Oklahoma, I guess, just trying to get back in range for a field goal. And here they come out. It's going to be a 34-yarder yet again, or a 39-yarder this time from left hash. And the kick is up, and it is good. We are at 54. The over-under is 54-and-a-half, so we need another score to hit the over. If you bet on the first TD, it was Joel McKinley from Nebraska. Montoya takes it out here. He has some room, gets out to about the 27. Seven minutes, 46 seconds left here in game day in the New Heights Classic of Season 13. And it's been a great one so far. Who is going to come up here in the clutch? Hand off here, McKinley out wide. Two tight ends set now, and they are going to uh, audible here, second and nine. Swan tries to evade him, and he can't. Down he goes. Charlie Harvey, third and 14. If there's one thing that you could say about this Oklahoma team is that they don't really have any SFA players or dogs on the defensive line, but they come up clutch here. Third and 14 now for Nebraska, down six. They have to have it here. Corner blitz. He throws it, and he has a man with Shiko. He can't hang on. Washiko Johnston gets broken up. The best receiver on the day for Nebraska can't haul it in. And Oklahoma gets the ball back. If they extend this to two scores, it may be over. Ready? 
He's jamming that one to the corner, and it's picked again, but no, he didn't get the foot inbounds. Risky business. He's looking for Wild Goose on the sideline. That's the that's twice now that they picked it off, but they couldn't get the foot in. And they blitz him over the middle, and that's complete to Lawrence Harris. Remmers being able to stand in the pocket, deliver strikes as he's hit, has been incredible today, but it's third down. Nebraska desperate for a stop. What is the call here for Nebraska? And off the gut. Can he get there? Reverse field. McFeeders is short. Fourth and one, and they're punting. They are not choosing to go for it. They are up six. They are trusting their defense. But Nebraska doesn't believe them as they are now running out the clock here, obviously. Want to give Nebraska as little time as possible. And here it comes. No fake. And can he get it out of bounds? No, that's going to go into the end zone. As we have about five minutes left here in the game. Six-point lead for Oklahoma. But Nebraska has the ball back. Takes a handoff. Swain, he's going to take off here. He has a lane. And he gets speared by Strievler. Wayne Strievler delivering a massive hit. Oh, Swain pops right back up perfectly fine. Second and five now. Two tight ends on the, on the field still. Swain takes off. He has another lane. And he gets hit again, but a first down. The Cornhuskers are rolling. They bring a blitz. Wild Goose gets locked up there, and Swain gets sacked. Charlie Harvey again. Two drives in a row. So we haven't really seen Swain attempt to run it too much out of the pocket today, but here in the fourth quarter, if he doesn't see it, he, uh, he's been running wild. Bunch formation here. Watch out for Washiko as they hand it off to Joel McKinley. And, oh, I thought that ball was out. He gets about five. Third and 11 now. Big time decision here for Nebraska if they don't get it. Still have three timeouts, but you've got to keep this drive alive. What's the call? He throws it. Wide open, man. There he is, Dallas Johnson. The big play receiver for Paul Sanford delivers in the clutch here for Julius Swain. And he takes off now again and gets sacked. Charles Hill now gets himself a sack. So the pass protection breaking down here late. We got three minutes, 30 seconds left here in the New Heights Classic Season 13. Man in motion, it's Dallas Johnson. They're going to hand it off to him. He finds some room up the middle. Third and three. Clock still ticking. They're in plus territory. You've got to have it. Chance to make the upset. Quick option. He gets it off to in. McKinley, no, brought down by Strievler. The transfer from Florida makes the biggest play of the game. Fourth and three now. They come out empty. They bring a blitz over the middle, first down, broken tackle, down the sideline, and he's caught. Tony McDaniel. Down. 
Nebraska keeps the drive alive on fourth and three with a big time play. Two minutes left. Down by six. They need a touchdown. Tight end in the backfield. They hand it off. No. Over the middle and Green Davis drops it. AGD drops the first down. They would have been inside the 10. Bunch formation again. They're pressing. Oh my. Dumps that one off. That was insane defensive uh, alignment there. They had 10 guys on the line of scrimmage. That was wild. Playing press. And third and eight now. Bunch formation again. Hands it off. Joel McKinley. Can he get there? No. Fourth and six upcoming. Fourth and six. They still have three timeouts, but the game pretty much on the line. Swain. He has time. He throws it. And it's... It's caught! Arian Green Davis hangs on to it! The drive's alive! The five-star recruit keeps the drive alive! First and goal, they hand it off to McKinley, and he stopped! How did AG, AGD hang on to that? Second and goal. Minute 20 on the clock. Oklahoma taking their timeouts now. Hand off. McKinley runs over two men. Touchdown, Nebraska. They take the lead in the New Heights Classic. Joel McKinley shrugging off defenders left and right to give him the lead. No one gave this team a chance. Hell, they played in the national championship last season. But plenty of time for Oklahoma. This is where national championship teams are born. Terrell Remmers. Minute 19, you have a timeout. All you need is a field goal. You have one of the most powerful kickers in the country. Can Oklahoma do the impossible? First play, dumps that one off for four, out of bounds, clock stops. Second and six at their own 28. Remmers delivers it, and it's dropped by Gus McFeeders. Third and six now. Nebraska's defense is playing with a swagger. Third and six here for Oklahoma. They're yamming it to the corner. Wild Goose catches it. Oh, my. What a catch. This game is on steroids. We're across the 50 now. Remmers, he's again, he's on the run and he's hit. Sacked for a loss. The clock is running second and 17. They got to run back to the line here. Time is being wasted. Remmers. He yams it deep, one on two, and it's dropped by the defender yet again. Third and 17. Game on the line. They need a first. Remmers delivers that to Lawrence Harris. Fourth down. And they're going, they're not going to kick it from here. That's way too far. Fourth and four, game on the line. Remmers. He has time. He floats it to Wild Goose. First down, Oklahoma. Wild Goose so clutch here. They need probably 10 more yards. Over the middle. Wild Goose again. 
Wild Goose single-handedly winning this game for Oklahoma. Second and three, Honey in motion. Remmers, 10 seconds left. He's jamming it deep. Wide open, man. Lawrence Harris to the goal line. Oklahoma. At the one, they're not bringing out the field goal unit. They want to score. They hand it off. McFeeders, and he's short. Timeout comes out to win the game in the season 13 New Heights Classic. It's about an 18-yard field goal. From left hash, the kick is up, and it's good. Oklahoma takes the lead. One second remaining. Arian Green Davis, he's going to put a knee down. One play for Nebraska to win the game. 75 yards away. Julius Swain in the backfield. He has time. Swain, he unloads it. He yams it deep. And it's tipped away. Oklahoma survives. As we hit triple zeros here in the New Heights Classic, Oklahoma gets the field goal on the game-winning drive, and they survive winning 33-31 to over Nebraska. Oklahoma goes to 3-0 while Nebraska falls to 0-2. What a crazy game from start to finish. Absolutely electric game here in Houston at NRG Stadium. And we will see you next week. And player of the game is the kicker. Absolutely incredible game. Cheddar Biscuits shedding the tackler and staying in bounds was electric. I love that play. There's so many incredible plays, but how about Shaquille Wild Goose coming in on the last drive and putting together? Yeah, Cheddar Biscuits, baby. He got that long TD. Gilliam here got an insane run, too. Two broken tackles. An incredible game all around. I'm going to have so much fun making this highlight video tonight. Um, remember, folks, that recruits will come out late tonight at, like, normal game day time. Um, I'm not going to be home. I'm going to leave right now. And uh, and the VODs won't be available tonight. Um, but the Watch Party VOD will be available Insane game. This started out really, really shaky for both teams. Only three points in the first quarter. And then 35 points here in the second quarter. And then it just kind of went nuclear at the end there. Insanity. What a game. These two teams, man. Nebraska is the best 0-2 team in the country. Look at this, man. Crazy, crazy game for them. They probably should have won. Washiko Johnston, what a game for the freshman. Arian Green Davis coming up clutch on a few fourth downs. They just couldn't get that final play to get the win. Quentin Appleby, Stephen Moore. Brandon Alford got his field goal. Incredible game from both sides, man. Remmer is 31 of 40, 318, and an interception. Gus McFeeders had 61 on the ground and a touchdown, and then through the air, he had 4 for 18. Wild Goose, though, fantastic day. And then on the defensive side, Sendejo, they got a couple of sacks. Shaquille Wild Goose, he had two tackles himself. Man, that game was so much fun. And obviously, 4 for 4 here for Sam Marshall, the senior kicker. And before we get out of here, let's take a look at the players of the game.
Damn, Jay Jettis doesn't even know his own team. Shake my head. I don't like them giving the offensive player of the game to the kicker. I thought that, that you could have given so many different players player of the game, but that's all right. Oh, you won. All righty, folks. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like I said, Watch Party will be available here soon. I'm going to post all these games, and then I'm going to leave. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.